Hey, hey, hey. I hope you guys enjoy these, what I'm calling podcast shorts for my burnout to all out community. This is just a little peek behind the curtain of the coaching that goes on inside of my programs. We're bringing to you some of the best nuggets and coaching I'm giving within hot seats of all of our different programs, whether it's our LinkedIn Method Academy our mini mastermind business basics, all the way up to our higher level mastermind. If you're hearing some of these questions and you're like, man, I wish I could get my burning question answered by Melissa. Hey, guess what? You could be featured on my podcast. If you've got a question that you want answered and you submit it to my team and we pick it, we will bring you here to the podcast for our podcast shorts and uh, do a hot seat with you. Where can you submit your questions? Send them to teamburnouttoallout.co. We'll make sure we drop that in the show notes for our podcast shorts. And I hope that you guys find as much value in these shorts as our clients do inside the program. Need some effective tactical advice that actually helps you get results and makes a real difference in your life and business? You've come to the right place. If you're finding yourself here today, it means you're getting ready to gain serious traction in your business, rapidly multiply your income and impact, and you're ready to make it happen while living all out. Guys, I'm Melissa Henault, your trustworthy corporate dropout turned six-figure business burnout turned happy and healthy CEO of a multi-million dollar online business, and you're listening to the Burnout to All Out podcast. On this show, we're serving up innovative growth strategies, simple implementation methods to put them into practice, and action-stimulating inspiration tailored specifically for the modern entrepreneur. Let's dive in. Since you talked about product-based entrepreneurs, it's super interesting, I think, because there's a lot of small, like, local businesses that are they're so successful. Like people in Hawaii want to support local entrepreneurs like crazy. And I think the easiest way is through product. So there's like a crazy amount of product-based entrepreneurs in Hawaii. So many of them signed up for my free course and I want to be able to help them on LinkedIn. And I think that's a place I I was kind of worried about. So (laughs) since I'm doing the training, I definitely want to be able to help the product based. So any suggestions outside of whatever we've learned on LinkedIn that you think are specific to product based entrepreneurs? Yeah, great question. And we've got Anjali on the line too. She is building her LinkedIn brand locally for like your practice a little bit, right? And so it's it's a it's a service, but it's I see it as kind of like foot traffic product, right? I think that for people who are trying to grow locally, so you're looking for like LinkedIn coaching for them is number one is a lot of people on LinkedIn don't realize that they can use that Boolean modifier. So B-O-O-L-E-A-N, Boolean, where they can type in the location and then use the word and or use the word or, and then type in another qualifier to help drill down the search list. So if they're in specific areas of Hawaii, and they're wanting to grow their network of client base or B2B, you know, networking, then I would teach them how to make that field search on LinkedIn, right? So it could be location in Hawaii, and then an and, and then job title or company title or whatever filler you want to put next. It depends on if as the product owner, they're looking for B2B engagement, or if they're looking for B2C engagement, but they can qualify through location before typing anything else in, right? So like, for instance, if I was, I mean, I'm just like throwing this out for a product base. Let's say I do like super high-end organic spa products and I'm in Charlotte. I would teach my clients how to put in the keyword Charlotte, key modifier, Boolean modifier, and... And then the next word would be like salon, right? Or med spa. You see what I'm saying? Like just teaching them how to like hone in there and then grow their networks that way organically. 
Okay. And the more they grow their networks organically through really, really niche locations and keep their network really tight, there's going to be so much engagement because there's only like so many people in that area of Hawaii, right? That are engaging right. on the platform. Yeah. Okay. And I guess just anything else, just like online to support them because like, I realize like for a lot of them, they only have a certain capacity, <laughs> you know, like it's, I'm realizing it's so different than like, like you said, a service-based entrepreneur, because right. you're just trying to help them grow like almost exponentially. Tell me a little bit about some of their businesses. So majority of their businesses are kind of like boutique local Hawaii specific crafts almost. So like one does like, she does like little pillows and backpacks mm-hmm. and lunch packs, but like really kind of cutesy Hawaii designs. So people like love, she's like, they all have cult followings. And then the other one makes like educational materials in Hawaiian. Mm -hmm. So she does like all wood products and another one makes salves. Another one is like does Reiki. So like, just like, how can I help them? (laughs) Any, any suggestions? Yeah. So I think going back to the field search is going to be really, really helpful for each of them, no matter whether they're looking for a field search in education. Like think about Lene, Dr. Lene, she has built a phenomenal pipeline through networking, through educators who are thought leaders locally in New York. Right. So again, it goes back to like networking on the platform. It's not just about direct selling to customer but teaching them how to even go to groups on LinkedIn where people may be active in their field expertise. I know Lene has had significant results in finding certain groups in education that are on LinkedIn, but then like with the salves, right? Like, I think I really go back to like, you know, the area and the med spas or spas or anything holistic, like locally that they can begin to grow their network with. The other thing is like gifting, right? Like think B2B. Could they create some collaborations and partnerships with local businesses for gifting? And what does that look like? Or collaborations with pop-ups. You know, I'm thinking about like, you know, Dr. Anjali, I know is doing some networking. I know that she's hosting, for instance, an event at her practice where she's inviting like hundreds of her clients for the day. And she's going to have you know, stuff on display and some products for them to try. So it's like, how can these women network in Hawaii with, you know, and for all intents and purposes, women like Dr. Anjali, who are, you know, have a network for them to get their products in front of. Does that make sense? Because like, if this wasn't happening in Northern California, but it was happening in your little town of Hawaii, right? Like how do we make that connection? Through networking, through power of networks. So I think that just teaching them how to like grow their networks locally is really gonna help them. Thanks guys so much for listening in on today's podcast episode. And I can't wait for you to see my upcoming guest in the next episode. You are going to love this keynote speaker. Hey, here's the deal. If you liked this, please subscribe and leave a review. And you want the latest online business growth strategies and exclusive LinkedIn pro tips sent straight to your phone? Text the word UPDATE to 704-318-2285. That is text the word UPDATE to 704-318-2285. Can't wait to see you guys. Come find me over on Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, wherever you like to hang. I cannot wait to hear how you are enjoying and applying what you're learning. You guys reach out to me over on social because I love hearing what's resonating with you. When you reach out to me and you send me those personal DMs, they really do impact the content I continue to bring forward to you. So again, come find me, Melissa underscore Hinault over on Instagram, Melissa Hinault over on LinkedIn and Facebook. Can't wait to see you guys over there.